Hey, it's Jim from Janku. Let's take a look at installing Inkscape on an Ubuntu 18 computer. So let's go to Firefox here and I'm going to type in inkscape.org. That's the website for the project. And then on this page, I can go to the download section and I'm going to use the current stable version of the software. So I'll click that first option there. And then since I'm using a GNU Linux computer, I'm gonna click this. And then there's a couple different installation options here. So you can use Flatpak, Snap, or PPA. Now I'm going to use the PPA version here. So this is just installing the software using Ubuntu standard package manager. So I'll click that. And then there's some installation instructions right here. It brings us over to the launchpad.net website here. And it shows the PPA that we would have to add in order to get that stable version. So I'm just going to copy this line here. And I'm going to open up my terminal. So I'll search for my terminal and my launcher. And I'll launch that. Now I'll just expand this and I'm going to bump up the size. Now I'll paste that PPA in there and I'll press enter. Add my password. Press enter. Okay, I'm going to clear my back scroll with control L and then I'll just do a sudo apt get update to update my package manager so it recognizes that PPA that we just added. And now we can do a sudo apt git install Inkscape. And I'll just say yes to use the additional disk space. Okay, so now if we go to our launcher and we search for Inkscape, you can see that we have this program here. I can open that up. And you can see that it's using the theme of my computer here. So these icons and the dark theme are using my computer's theme. This is a little dark and it's hard to distinguish these icons here. So I could actually come and I could change my theme on my Ubuntu laptop. So let me just do that real quick. I'm going to look up the Unity Tweaks tool. Let me go to my theme here. And let me try to change this real quick. So that makes it a little easier to see, but it's still hard to read with the dark background. Let's see if we can find one with a lighter background here. That looks a little easier to distinguish the icons. So I think that's good for now. I'll say okay by closing out of this. And now you're good to go creating vector graphics with Inkscape. Now, if you wanna check the version of Inkscape that you're using, you could actually come up here to the help menu for the program and go down to about Inkscape you can see we're currently using version 0.92. If you're new to Inkscape, subscribe to our channel. Stephanie from our team has made a lot of great content showing how to use the basics of this program. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up just so YouTube knows to share it with other folks. All right, thanks for watching, and until next time, we'll see ya.